Don't cross the street. Woo! Oh, that was really nice. Where do you want the clear? On the outside. Do you want to wait for the clear? Big Mitch. Mitch Quist. What's up, everybody? Thanks for being here. Don't forget to crush the like button. Go and subscribe to ATD Art right. Till Death and Wanda Art to the Design. Yeah, go ahead, Mitch. Just throw You'll have a master's degree in epoxy in no time. Yep. Right. Scotland. Scotland. Jamaica. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, Virgin yeah. Island. Right near the beach. Boy. Here, hold on. Yeah. There's Erica with no Arts Till Death. Make sure to follow them on YouTube. The there is, we have a new guest yeah, coming to introduce her that. shortly. Yeah, but Shandell with Shandell Prince. Welcome everybody. Paula yeah, says, those are exact colors I need for my counter. Countertops, what colors did you use? Well, if anything, we will be going, uh, editing this video for a full tutorial. We're doing this huge project all over foam, um, and we're going to replace the backdrop in the studio. So, uh, make sure to hey. that video drops. Um, here, well, thank you, everybody, for joining. I will go over to our mixing table yeah, and show you the colors. We even have Margaret Quist in the house. Again, that will be listed okay. on that. And watch us pour the big piece that you see over there as well. Uh, thank you so much for joining us again, everyone. That for everyone that is just now tuning in, we are out here. I was I was in Texas with RP3 Designs. Right behind you. Wow, that's great. Maybe a little Getting slippery. Oh my god. Hey, okay, I'm good. We got many pours going on at once. Oh yeah. At least Vegas two. Hello, <laughs> Georgia, huh? Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. What do you think, Bowie? I think I want to get down now. <laughs> yeah, we even have a little mascot. <laughs> uh, we don't recommend using the Jordan uh, Lamb's interior. Do the twist. Yeah, it's Bowie. Yeah.
like always waiting to talk about the colors. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. Someone asked, how does Rhonda uh, stay so gorgeous? Welcome to everybody. Thank you for tuning in to watch this gigantic pour. Look at that. We've already mixed up a few batches. We're going to be redoing the backdrop for the studio behind me. Hey! Yeah, that's right. That's me, Chris. I'm here helping out Rhonda. On, uh, on, on YouTube. On YouTube. Hey, guys. How are you? Thank you for joining us. This is going to be epic. So if you want to see this finished like product, it, yes. Tuesday night, tomorrow night, if you can believe this, it's all going to be done by tomorrow night. Uh, we're going to be going live at 7 p.m. on this YouTube channel, uh, 7 p.m. Central. So join us because we're going to have the whole game and we're going to be doing it live. Also, for those of you that are waiting for the UTC gloss. It just got here on FedEx. So I will have it in the inventory by this evening and it will be ready to order on my site by in the morning. All right? So thanks for joining us. Mixed Media Girl says, oh, hey. It is crowded in here. <laughs> Jason and Darren, hello. Hello, Tammy. Hey, Rhonda, uh, Tammy from PPE, she says hi. Hi, how are you doing? Thanks for joining us. This is so much fun, guys. We are making a chaotic mess. Look at my shoes, y'all. Look at my shoes. These are, uh, what do you call this stuff? Press and seal. Press and seal. Press and seal. Yeah. Little slippers. Little slippers. <laughs> Or hang 10 across the board. Yep. Yep, they're actually grabbing her and sliding her across with all the epoxy on there. <laughs> Just so you guys can get the sense of scale here, it's hard to even have it all in the camera, but we have four panels, this one being the biggest, 
We're going to coat them all. And then tomorrow, apply the ultimate top coat. I believe tomorrow. Let's head over to the mixing. Getting colors ready. Yes, this is the biggest epoxy project I think I've ever seen. It's Texas big. We got both Kenny and Mitch manning mixing buckets. Yes. Yeah, that's Mitch from Stone Cold Countertops. Thank you for dropping by, Mixed Media Girl. Hey, Rhonda. Do you want to do another white dye in there? Rhonda. Diamond dust. Here. Yes. I have someone that asked, any advice for someone who is wanting to start a countertop company who you need to talk to? I know someone. Come to our pro class, guys. We have a magnificent four-day pro class where we give you all of the tools and the information to go out and start your own business. We don't only just teach you to pour on countertops. We bring in specialists that are uh, help you with your social media marketing. We have tax uh, advice on how to set up maybe their business, how to start your business. We talk about how to take your customer from the very first time they contact you all the way through the design process, how to help them put color, all the way down to the moment we install and walk out. We teach you, we give you a uh, contract, guys, that is an amazing contract. I paid a lot of money for this contract and think yeah. just. If I were to sell you the contract, that would pay for this class. So it's an amazing contract. We do bid sheets. We completely throw you into so much information. And the best part about it is you become one of our members of our family. You'll have support all the time. You'll get into a private Facebook group that you just for students. You'll also get 15% off of all the countertop products. Yeah, viewers from the Bahamas and Poland and uh, wow, all over. And check this out. For those just joining us, this is the project we are looking at. I'm having to get upstairs just to be able to get it all on camera. We got four panels of foam, insulation foam that's being covered in stone coat epoxy, and we're going to. Uh, replace the backdrop for the video. So you guys are going to be seeing this in, uh, I guess, every video after this. It's pretty neat. We had Thornton from Artist Till Death. He was uh, throwing up some, some great uh, painting over here. Let me do a little flyover. If you guys want to get a closer look at what the epoxy is brewing here. All the veins, all the... You can see we've got our tape dam going. We are using uh, 
lots of colors from just resin that can be found at artiststilldeath.com. You can see them here. Probably already gone through one of them, almost. The uh, colors. Yeah, we've gone through a lot of colors. Five bottles of white dye that we've already gone through. This really is a Texas size pour. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, half of most of it's white. Yep, we're doing this all in dirty pour, in exotic pour, rather. Either or. We got another bucket of epoxy coming. <laughs> yeah, you probably saw Kenny. He was uh, spraying alcohol on these wipes he's got ready. Just keeping them ready to pull up and use. We got an assembly line. after a little bit, so you want to make sure that you keep them wet. It helps. That way, if you're in a bind, you can pick one up real quick and keep your hands clean. <laughs> we got Clara Lawrence here as well, and Shandell from Shandell Paints, right, on Instagram. All right. It is fun. Everyone's having fun. We are. We got our assembly line going, and we just uh, pour it on and watch it do its magic here. I can show people who are just coming in. This is what we're working on. Probably the biggest epoxy pour I've ever seen. No, oh, definitely the biggest one I've seen. And yeah, Mitch said earlier, biggest one he's seen either, as well. All right, we just got squeegees and buckets. Here we go. Here's another pour coming. I wonder if I can zoom in. I can. Sorry about the jitter. Oh, got to pass it along. Wow, that creamy teal, like mint ice cream. Those tuning in, don't forget to tell us where you're from, how you're doing, how is everybody. Do the whites and pearls? Yeah, with no color. No color, just the yeah. whites and pearls. And then we'll kind of go in the middle. Alright, and then Katie's going to have to whip out the old... Yeah, uh, look at the floor raising up because of the fan. Also, how's the weather where you guys are? It's pretty hot out here. In Texas, I'm sure uh, Rick Williams there, who just said he's from Texas, I'm sure he knows. It's 
it's getting pretty uh, it's getting pretty hot. But at least it's nice and cool in here, so the epoxy won't set up too fast. It is nothing but teamwork in here. We got people jumping in and out, jumping on different cameras, torching, troweling, with uh, squeegees rather. It was 96 in Arizona. I bet it's I bet it's so hot and dry in Arizona. <laughs> Oh, Oxy Resin Designs, working on a kitchen yourself. That's great. Oh, we got someone from Canada. It's cold up there, huh? If you're using epoxy, remember to uh, make sure it's at a good temperature when you use it. Uh, if it's cold out or if it's humid, make sure that... Uh, take care of the bottles and take care of the epoxy so that you get a nice cure over a hundred wait where was that Cheryl over a hundred degrees but only 60 today wow what a change oh, oh that's right Utah oh man yeah it can fluctuate out there good skiing I hear yes yeah, dry heat out there in Arizona right my brother used to live in Arizona. They had a rock garden. It's much easier to take care of than a lawn. What do we got here? It is getting crowded. We just have these little walkways here. Let me see if I can step across. To reach the uh, hard to reach bubbles in the middle, we're actually using a long nozzle. Well, we're using uh, a bigger torch, but just because of its long nozzle. Talking about Mitch, oh yeah, yeah. Mitch is ready to uh, see how it is at the river. That's right. All right, thank you, Epoxy Resin Designs. Yeah, good luck with that kitchen. Look at that, getting all the bubbles. You can see, I'll get a bit close here. You can see all the metallic and a little bit of diamond dust in there. So there might be there's some glitter. Let's see here. I don't know how well you can see. I see there's a little bit of glitter, mostly in these areas. There you go, here comes Mitch with the torch. Very nice. I can't wait to see this mounted up back here. That's where we're going to mount it for the backdrop for those of us just uh, those just joining. You can see we've got little browns and stuff here. Some nice vein. We got those Colgate colors. Well, not not quite. Very nice. Oh. So yeah, this was all veins before. Nice and spread out now. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, and as a reminder, we're only using the torch to reach the uh, the middle of the piece here. Don't actually need a big torch for this. Just gets the job done a bit faster. Longer reach. We got Shandell here preparing the next tile. Whoop. There it is. She's squeegeeing out a, uh, uh, a coat for the epoxy doll slide on, the exotic pour. And we got some more pouring over here with uh, Erica from Artists Till Death. Let's see here if I can get a good angle. That's right, that's right. I'm using Rhonda's iPhone. It's got a long cable, trying not to let that drag in the epoxy. Yep, and we're filming all of this to uh, put together as a uh, as a YouTube video to go on uh, RK3 Designs and Stone Coat Countertops. And L4, I'm sure. Here, uh, back up here again, so we can see the whole project as it's coming along. So then, uh, after this tile, we just got the uh, the little one over there. I don't know, tile or section. I don't know. Would you call this a tile or a section? Either or, I suppose. The Bowie's barking. The little mascot. So are you? Well, wait a minute. Do me a, do me a... Nova Scotia, right? I pronounced that right. We've got uh, Rhonda. Uh, this is her. So this is really her project. So it's going to be the backdrop for the wall back there. Um, uh, but really, uh, yeah, everyone's. Uh, it's a big collaborative thing. We've got Mitch from Stone Coat Countertops, Rhonda, RK3 Designs. We got Shandell Paints uh, on Instagram, and we got Artist Till Death here. Everybody collaborating and uh, working together on this. This is actually uh, like clockwork, really. And then we've got another pour. Excuse me, over here. Thank you for tuning in. This is uh, a huge epoxy pour. We're doing this all in one day on foam, on insulation foam that's been painted and has a fiberglass mesh on it. We've got a tape dam around the edges, as you can see, with uh, to uh, contain those colors while they set up a little bit, pull the tape, then those colors will uh, they won't run off as much if they're contained on the section. That's right, we've got uh, Rhonda, uh, Erica, Chandel. Uh, they've all got their feet uh, protected with uh, press and seal. Just wrap press and seal around the feet, make kind of wraps, kind of foot wraps. It's 52 in, in Grants Pass right now. Wow. It is really hot here in Texas. Though we're nice and cool in here. Nice. Yeah, I love this diagonal direction. Look at that white vein in the middle. Looking really good. That's right, we'll be going live uh, tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central Time on this channel, on YouTube. And uh, 
We'll be doing even more projects. It's practically a yoga class when uh, working on the floor. You could even call it hot yoga with the Texas heat. Cheryl Martin asks if there's going to be any Italian drip going on. Do the drip check. So, for those uh, just arriving, we are working on this enormous pour. It's four sheets of insulation foam. We're going to be covering all today. We've already got three out of four of them covered and a, uh, a glazed coat, I guess, on, uh, on one of them. And uh, we're, these are going to be backdrop pieces for the set. Uh, sadly, it's going to cover up um, Jeff from Artist Till Death's um, painting here. Very beautiful, but we got plenty of video of that, so it is not lost, and it'll always be behind Rhonda. These are... Uh, We actually set these foam boards on top of another layer of foam board. So that as you can see, they're actually sitting up. They have a lip around the edge so that when we pull the tape, the epoxy can roll off right when we want it to so that the colors don't, uh, don't just all slide off. This is an exotic pour, so we're pouring very thick. We're using lots of epoxy. And uh, so that those colors can fight with each other, rise to the top, sink to the bottom, and it just makes it look amazing. And all you have to do is pour it on. Bowie is barking, our mascot Bowie. Oh, oh, no, no treats. We got some Italian drip going on. You see here, Eric, uh, Rhonda is putting alcohol in her hand and dripping it over the surface. What it does, it makes little, it just pushes the, uh, pushes the epoxy around. It makes more cool effects. Oh, here we go. She's doing some more. Oh, pretty Clara. Clara will be uh, leaving us. Uh, for, you'll be back later. Be back. Be back later. Or... All right. All right. Okay. Thank you, Christy. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, everybody, for joining us to watch this pour. This is Clara Lawrence. All right, we got some Italian drip action. Thank you for the shout out. Uh, back to the question. 
And here we have even more buckets of epoxy getting mixed at the mixing station. Here's where we're uh, mixing the exotic pours. Pretty loud with two drills going. Uh, Jason Adair says hello. All right. I hope that was audible with the drills nearby. There's a lot going on. It's popping off. Oh yes, this is. Uh, I this might be a milestone for Stone Coat Epoxy. Like this has to be the biggest. I mean, uh, to rival it, you know, there's there's shower panel pours that are all done at once. Um, but like nothing compared to this. Oh, sorry, sorry if the audio was not really. Uh oh. We have a pest. We got a little wasp or something. Gotta keep an eye on him. We got 47 right now. Y'all, this is so epic. This is so epic. So let me tell you how surprised I am about kind of something I learned. Was, um, we did the, the quick coat with the um, fiber mesh. Two hours later, and we'll, we'll put it in our full length video. Erica and I were dancing across the top, sitting on it. I think we did a few cart rolls. So this, this foam is so durable. And guys, this is half inch foam. This is not the one inch foam that we usually use. This is half inch foam and we were literally standing on it. Mitch, and you know how big Mitch is, walked across it. Zero indentions. It was amazing. So I am just so excited to be able to uh, bring this project to you guys and give you confidence moving forward when you guys want to do a shower or something like that. So this is, this is amazing. Plus I'm getting a whole new YouTube set. So I'm so excited. All right. We're about to pour this one over here, I see. I would say as soon as we finish pouring, that way it's not going to be running while we're walking. Yeah. That's, a, that's, that's a good, a good call tip. there. Pro, yeah. that's, that's a, a good call. Tip. That's a pro tip right there. That's a pro tip. You step back and I'm used to it. Bye-bye. Yep. All right. Uh, where are we at? I need to We're ready to pour. I got another All right. gallon right here for you. Erica, man, oh, are you sorry? We're about ready. All right. We're ready for the... Probably last or second to last uh, exotic pour. We got several cameras running. <laughs> Up next is this panel right here that we already have a glaze coat on. Hey, B, can you do that over there next to Bowie so he doesn't jump off? Hold on, Bowie. All right, here we go. Thank you for dropping by, Cheryl. Thank you for tuning in. Yep.
All right, so this is the project we're looking at. An immense project here. A backdrop that's going to be used for Rhonda's videos. So you're actually going to see these in future uploads once we start filming videos on it. We've already used, I think, yeah, it was like, we've already used five bottles of white dye. This dye from Illuminate. Like, that's how much we're dealing with here. We've, we still have another bucket there that's ready to go. Uh, Ron, what, what's the total square feet? 250 square feet, I believe. Yeah. 250 square feet? Yeah. Watch this, guys. We're using 20 gallons of epoxy. So this is our white, opaque dye. And if you want to take your white, opaque dye to the next level, look, watch. Oh. Look at there, look at there, look at there. Okay. I got another gallon ready. Right. So yeah, we're using a variety of uh, just resin tints to uh, think we're only gonna mix one to color the epoxy. We're using alumalite dyes. Is that far one done or needs a little bit more, doesn't it? Diamond dust glitter. Um, one of the key colors must be this one. Uh, I see peacock green. Yes, absolutely, hundred percent. And you can inlay wood on the backside if you need to. If not, then you can just use silicone, and then it would be stuck forever. The uh, white we're using is uh, this Illumilite dye right here. It is a, if it can focus, let's see here. It's an opaque color. More white dye in there. Let's see here, there's a, here's one we're mixing up. Thank you everybody for tuning in. I'm glad to be uh, taking you on a tour around here hope the audio is as good as it can be here <laughs> with the drills going and everything you got any questions Chris? guys crush the like button share the video help Ron to grow let us know any questions as we mix that's right 250 plus square feet, 20 gallons of epoxy. We're going to have uh, possibly our final pour or second to last pour. So be sure you stick around for that. Just a bit here, we're going to pour on this one. We've already poured on these ones. It's going to be a backdrop for the studio for those of us who have. For those who have just joined us. Yeah. I'll get some of this. Look at this. We got two buckets of white. We got two of uh, this uh, glitter that seems to be the silver halo right here. Just one, I think, will work. Multicolored glitter there. Beautiful chaos. It is beautiful chaos. And we're doing this in exotic pour fashion. Oh yes, it's gonna look great when it's all up on the wall. We're going to be doing that tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central Time. We'll be mounting these, finishing up. It is so busy in here. And most of the space is taken up by the, uh, by the foam panels.
All right. <clears throat> Quite an undertaking. You guys don't have every dollar that you bring in to the channel. Well, you're cooking the same as Fox's recipe. You cook the same box, stack of chili. It's all stirring it from the bottom of the If it falls, if it falls, it's not going to happen. that brown patina at the bottom. We are going to go live tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central Time. And yeah, we're going to be um, putting up these panels. That's what I've been hearing. And uh, to get the bubbles around the middle, uh, I was thinking, you know, we could have a rod then attach the uh, torch to it, uh, you know, lock up that trigger and keep the flame going. But uh, uh, Kenny has a uh, longer handled torch that we've been using to get to the middle of the boards. It's called a pear burner. Called a called what? A pear burner. A pear burner. Getting every last drop of the bottle of epoxy out of there. Right. We're using each the total bottle, so we're getting it all out. We have the proper uh, mixing iron. All right, here we go. Right. Here we go. We're gonna have the uh, exotic four getting mixed right here. So we'll just do the white. No wait. Oh, what are we doing now? That's right. Oh my gosh. It is so hard to get to get a good view here. The uh, the project we're doing is uh, more than 250 square feet. That's got to be a record. Except a, a you know probably an epoxy floor. There's probably uh, more square footage there, but these are going to be panels. But yeah, 250 plus square feet. That's what's going on. Yeah. Right, isn't that great color? People are like, oh. I aspire to have that kind of friendship. Every last drop. Uh, Sandra? That's your daughter. Hey Rhonda, yes. we have someone that said they like your haircut and when they come out they want to use your hairdresser. Who's that? That's my daughter Kendra. 
Draculas, look up Kendra K Beauty in Green, Texas. G R U E N E. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's how you want to spell it. Oh boy. Chewbacca style. No, no look, no eye contact, Rhonda. The kid here. Cool. I mean, it's made of sparkles yeah. in there. You can do this to some drink of the head here. You can do it, you can take one of those like morning wall things. The having high points for a sandal squash. What is this right here? I'm just going to give it to you. There we go. Not the butt. It's probably almost finished. Thank you so much, Brenda. That's great. Thank you for the compliments. Yes, this is an amazing project with uh, at least four different channels and collaborating here. Of course, we had Clara Lawrence uh, from Clara Lawrence Art on YouTube as well. All right. She might be. All right. So what are we going to do? I guess we're going to out. We are using over... We're using 20 gallons of epoxy to coat this. And so, um, depending on the epoxy you use, I guess the price would change, but that's how, that's how much we're using, 20 gallons, to cover 100 and 250 plus square feet of, uh, of insulation foam here. This foam is amazing. We had uh, people dancing around and uh, walking around on it earlier. No smell. Good, good stuff. Nothing in pocket. Woo! We got a double four action going on. Oh, is this yeah. all a countertop or is there art coat as well? Art coat? Yeah, That's is there any art coat or is it all countertop? It's all art coat. It's amazing. The other man behind the scenes. Apparently he's filming. Since this is a light piece, uh, what's best is using the art coat we're using here. The art coat will give us uh, a longer working time and uh, more UV protection for those light pieces so it won't amber. See how some of these veins are concentric? I hope I'm not getting my backside bending over on camera here. I'm taking care of that. My whole backside? Well, sorry, I'm showing my whole backside. Okay. There you go. Yeah, it really is amazing that we got uh, the art coat for for that application. Yeah. Yeah, we just finished filming for the pro class. And now we're on to this. We had a lot of great people, great class. They made some great samples. And uh, we all had a great time, learned a lot from each other. Everyone was super happy. Kind of it down anyway. yeah. The uh, we will be using the ultimate top coat on this. Yes, we're just gonna we're just gonna put this color coat on and then apply the ultimate top coat tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, and then tomorrow at about seven or eight hours, we're gonna install this right before Rhonda's live. So join us Tuesday, right? Tuesday at seven. Is it Central Time? 7 p.m. Central Time, that's yep. right. We're live on RK3 Designs. We're going to make a sweet countertop yeah, sample. Sorry guys for the audio. Or probably a project for one of Rhonda's customers right in front of our brand new epoxy mic, wall so, uh, system. Kind of yeah, I can't wait to film with this behind Rhonda. As you can see, we're filming camera for a few minutes later on the channel. Here's a pro tip. Yeah, we're going to have surface tension like that. Yeah. Let's say you're running low on the material. Use your torch. Heat up that leaning edge. Fire. 
and it starts to flow better in it. And you can even break, help that by making it wet in front of it, right? So what I'm doing is I'm taking the wood. I should be wearing a glove here. So that's proper PPE at this point. I should not use your finger, but I have lots of clear alcohol. That's the best thing to have on site. So now, now that whole thing's gonna flow. You can see it flowing already. Yeah. Now let's look at this little booger. Bye. That's why I have short hair. <laughs> so, uh, Rhonda, yes. are you going to be using the gloss or I'm the, gonna use the mat? Yes. And the reason we're going to do the mat is because these are going to be behind me, and we always use lights when we video. So I don't want high gloss behind me, which would cause reflections. So we're definitely going to be using on these, which honestly, matte is my favorite thing. It really makes this look like a blue. So, super All right, so that's the matte ultimate top coat that we're going to be using in the background. We got here. This one's coming along. Probably just one pour left. Just dropped a squeegee in there. But it's all right, didn't make any marks. That was uh, Shandell Paints introducing herself, plugging her Instagram. Chandel Paints, uh, I believe uh, C H A N D E L L E Paints on Instagram. She's coming over to collaborate with us. Just gonna get this epoxy off my hands. All right, let's get a close up here. <laughs> Tammy uh, is saying she should uh, retake the pro class just so she can see the. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, Tammy. We would love to have this. How often uh, do people retake the class? Very. We have a lot of people that may come take our two day uh, 101 class. They end up loving it so much that they decide to retake it. Uh, up again and start a business, and they'll come back and actually take our pro class. And um, we, I mean, every time they do, they're like, I've learned so much more than they learned from just the, the, the two-day class. So, yeah, we encourage you guys to always come back and visit us. Okay. So our next pro class is in September, guys. <laughs> Tammy is wondering if uh, purple is in this. Yeah, saying it would, this saying it would really pop. Yeah, that's just not enough. The purple's just not enough. Good house. <laughs> Good house. Good house. Good house. Good house. Good house. Although there is that glitter that kind of gives off a, a purple hue. Well, so I guess there is a tad bit. There's a little tiny bit of a halo color. I don't that's know if right, you guys the can halo. see it. Yeah. That's right. 
So there is a tinge of purple in there. <laughs> That's the nice thing about this. There's detail close up. There's detail far away. It looks just as good two inches or 20 feet away. Finalize the summer tour route. Uh, uh, Rhonda, um, someone asked if you finalized the summer tour route. We are waiting on a few administrative decisions before we can say yay or nay. Hopefully, we will know something by the end of next week whether we're going to be able to move forward with that or not. So uh, hopefully y'all guys keep your fingers crossed because I'm telling you, if we go across the country, it's going to be epic. <laughs> it's going to be fire. It's going to be real. I'm not even happy. Uh, <laughs> and of course, remember to like and share these videos in this live. Share with your friends. See if they'll want to see any of this action going on. For those just joining us, we are working on these four huge panels, uh, 250 plus square feet, 20 gallons of epoxy that we're applying to these. And tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central, we're going to go live and show us uh, mounting them on the backdrop. That's what these are all for. This piece corresponds to one of these uh, walls here. The colors are separating and mixing together nicely. This is the exotic pour, which basically you mix all together, a bunch of uh, conflicting additives. And then when they're poured all together on the piece, they fight each other and uh, some sink to the bottom, some rise to the top. And it makes a lot of cool, natural looking effects. Has it already been an hour that we've been live? That's like, uh, that's, I find that hard to believe. Time is just really flying while we're here making amazing stuff or, you know, filming it in, uh, for my part. So I was popping in to see how the pour is going. Thank you for joining us again, Epoxy Resin Designs. Thank you for the compliments, everybody. <laughs> and uh, just so we know, uh, this is a big collaboration here. We've got uh, Erica and Jeff from Artists Till Death. We had Clara Lawrence Art, it, um, Art on YouTube here earlier. And uh, we just met her yesterday. This is, uh, this is Shandell from uh, Shandell Paints on Instagram. Hi, guys. Right on. What you doing here? Well, 
You want this bucket to All right. All right, that was Chandel from Chandel Paints on Instagram. That's uh, C H A N D E L L E Paints on Instagram. Wow. I think we're just getting, gearing up for one more pour. Finally, this area is open. I can walk around in here. That's probably six bottles of the epoxy white, or the the, um, the the Lumilite white dye, probably, that's already been used. Yeah. Plenty of alcohol to clean uh, tools and gloves. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. How's the weather over there? Over here in Texas, it's uh, you know getting into 90s, uh, triple digits. Yeah, triple digits yesterday. It's gonna get to be 104. Excited about that. <laughs> Go roast a chicken by throwing it on a rock. Epoxy Resin Design says hi. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Jeff reminded me that people can only hear what you? I say. <laughs> so I'm not like, oh, that label is a white What a fraud. You know, the white haired lady that scams everybody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She doesn't know for real. Erica, um, M and Melissa wants to congratulate you on your wedding. Thank you. I usually do <laughs> You got epoxy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Vegas must be scorching right now. Yeah. I've been, uh, I can tell you myself, uh, I've been working, uh, you know, with incidental contact to epoxy, but uh, Mitch here and, and uh, Rhonda, everyone here has been working with epoxy. And the thing is, like, when you're working with it, it gets all over as much as you try to keep clean, and uh, they're all fine. <laughs> well, yeah, this is uh, zero VOC formulation of uh, epoxy, so it has no, uh, those are volatile organic compounds, I believe that's the acronym, and uh, there's none of that in uh, this epoxy, it's very safe. Can he working hard to get every last drop? Is this the last bucket? This is it. Wow. The last of the Mohicans. <laughs> yes. Last bucket, guys. Hey, 
This is it. So, uh, how, what's the time now? How long have you been going at it? I was first mixed at 10 a.m. and it's still still running, still fully usable. So this is the material that's usually used for shower panels, the insulation foam. This is actually the half inch uh, size, uh, the, the thickness. It's uh, sitting on another half inch of foam underneath it so that uh, the epoxy will run off the edge. Usually use the, the full inch, but uh, after the uh, mesh and quick coat was applied yesterday, we had everybody uh, walking around on it and jumping around and uh, Rhonda was even dancing on it and uh, not a single indentation. It took it like a champ. So these are quite durable as wall panels, shower panels. Uh, the insulation foam is actually uh, uh, like not waterproof, but it doesn't swell or shrink like MDF or wood does when it, it comes in contact with water. So it, it's a great option for, you know, boats or for uh, shower panels, especially since it's lightweight. We'll be posting a uh, video showing uh, the fabrication of these. And you'll be able to see it's amazing what just some foam and tape and uh, mesh, what a strong surface it can make. Thank you everybody for joining. We love you all. We appreciate your support. We appreciate your likes and your shares and your compliments. A backsplash in the kitchen? Yeah, it probably would. That'd probably be good. I've seen those mostly used as M uh, made with MDF. But... Uh, yeah, I'd look into that. I, yeah, make sure to do your research, of course, about the certain space you're uh, working in. And, of course, your environmental conditions, the heat and humidity affects the epoxy. So be sure to be sure to uh, do your research before you before you take that leap. We are actually, yes, we are using the, uh, we're going to be applying the matte ultimate top coat to these since yes, this is a filming uh, set. So it's important that it is matte so that uh, lights from cameras don't show up as well, uh, reflections and such. Uh, yeah, we wouldn't want this to be glossy for what we're using it for. Yes, that is a good, good observation, good call. Yeah, we're going to be applying an ultimate top coat to this color coat. Uh, and then we'll be mounting them tomorrow on that backdrop. It's going to be uh, in uh, every video in the background. <laughs> These are the RK3 Designs colors. This one is continuing to move. You can see how it's been moving around the edges there. Then when we pull the tape, it's all the edges are all going to slide. But uh, the epoxy will have set up just a little bit so that it doesn't all flow off and uh, mess up any of the colors, the beautiful patterns we have here. Look at how these veins 
Oh, sorry for the shake. I've been holding this phone for a while now. I've been making these veins. They're developing quite well. Thank you, Melissa, for dropping in. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. It looks like uh, the uh, final pour, perhaps, is coming up. Let's see here. We've got our mascot, Bowie. He's chilling. Let's see here. Yep, that's the end of the mixing the epoxy, all done. And now we just got the buckets of color. We're going to put into probably one last exotic pour to go on this one. Probably around the sides here. You can see even the texture in the light here is the texture of the mesh that was used to uh, reinforce the uh, foam. When we uh, coated that with uh, the quick coat, and we had enough help to spread it out before the quick coat sets up. And uh, let's see here. There we go. <laughs> Be mad. It's like, oh, I don't want to stay over here. Well, you're not doing a good. It's getting to that point. We've been working on this all morning. And now it's all going to be poured. Yes, Bowie is such a good boy. He's just hanging out. Giving us emotional support. And just try to keep the epoxy away from all of his fluff. Uh, Rhonda, is there a bulk buy pricing for the epoxy? There is. If you will email me. I will send you that information and I can actually drop ship it to you. And uh, you can email me at Rhonda at rkkdesigns.com. In case you didn't catch that, that uh, uh, just email Rhonda at Rhonda at rk3designs.com. And she'll be able to uh, figure out that bulk pricing and uh, drop ship that to you. Great question. Thank you for asking. All right. If I can get around here, Shindell, thank you. You hear everybody? Sticky shoes. Oh, here, look. Geodes. Will there be geodes added? We, I don't believe we have any plans for that. Uh, this is going to be our last pour for today. Just a backdrop, so we're going to keep it nice and simple. But it's going to be going back here. Be sure to check the live uh, tomorrow at uh, 7 p.m. Central Time. We'll be mounting all of these on this back wall here for the backdrop. Brenda, thank you. Yes, uh, I also really like the teal. Uh, I like that Rhonda uh, has that as like her, her main color. All right. It's getting hot out here in Texas, but we're, uh, we're pouring it like it's hot. All 
right. Rhonda ever cooked. No, this no. is about as much baking as she <laughs> The only thing I cook is when the epoxy gets hot in the bucket. <laughs> I love my husband way too much to cook for him. I make a mean bowl of cereal, though. All right. The foam board uh, is quite durable, and uh, you see we have videos of shaping it and uh, putting rock edges in it, and and yes, cutting it with a uh, with a skill saw, just like wood. Check out the shower videos for fabricating these. Uh, these boards or the video that we'll be releasing uh, in uh, in due time when we finish the edit will show the fabrication for these boards nice creamy pearl sort of color here on the sides It's that stage in the project when everybody's got sticky feet. Wow, so there it is. I think this is it. 20 gallons of epoxy that was used to pour all these. Am I zoomed all the way out? I am. I need to get up high to show the whole thing. But this is what we're working with. 250 plus square feet for those just joining us. It's going to be a backdrop for back there. And it's going to be in uh, just about every video. Every video that's in the studio. This is coming out really well. That pearl has plenty of glitter in it. So you got the nice soft teal veins and then then the corners of, of pearl goodness. Making tiny little details here, going in concentric areas. Got spirals, got veins, enhancing details. I'm glad to be uh, hosting this live for Rhonda. Hope I'm doing a good job. Thank you everybody for liking, for sharing this with people to get send the word that this is this has to be the biggest epoxy project I've ever seen, besides maybe a floor. Well, I mean, of course, I've seen floors that are gigantic, but as wall panels, this has to be as big as it gets. Or bigger, I suppose it could be even bigger. So we've been working on this. Let's see. It's uh, since ten o'clock. Since ten o'clock, we've been working on this, and now it's one thirty. So we've been at it for a few hours now, uh, three and a half hours, I'd say. And uh, that's just for the pouring and mixing. Thank you so much. Thank you for the compliments. And here comes the big long torch. 
handle so we can reach the center and pop all those bubbles so we get a smooth as glass finish. There's some bubbles. Those who missed uh, the beginning and want to see more of the pour, uh, you can check out this video once it's. Or I think yeah, you can just scroll back in YouTube. I'm used to lives on Twitch and Facebook. All right, how are these panels looking? I wonder, like, which is everyone's favorite? Like, uh, one, two, three, and four. Like which one do you think looks the best? Kind of hard to see that one. So maybe just one, two, and three. Pulling out the long handle torch to get those bubbles in the center. And kind of expedite it a little bit. As long as uh, not too much heat is used. Just want to pop the bubbles and not hurt the epoxy. It's all looking real good right now. It's all moving. Sooner we're going to uh, uh, remove the tape dam around the edges. Uh, once the epoxy is set up a little bit and then it will flow over those edges and uh, coat them. And then tomorrow we're going to apply the ultimate top coat in matte since it's a backdrop for a film set and uh and we're going to mount them tomorrow at 7 p.m uh central time be sure and spread the word about that do not miss the mounting of these panels they're going to be mounted right here on the backdrop sadly they're going to cover all of the wonderful art that uh jeff from artist till death um gave us yesterday but uh We've got plenty of pictures and video of that. Two and three look like wings. Yes, the feathering and yeah, the, how it spreads. And that is right. Yes, I see the wings now. Yeah, I uh, I really like panel two. Um, uh, panel three, a little bit softer, a lot more pearl in that one. And then panel four, got some dark veins going through it that give it a, some nice contrast. I believe that's the one that's going to be right behind Rhonda. Uh, I'm not sure between two and three where they're going to be placed, but one of them is going to be here. And another one, I suppose, is going to be back there. And then, of course, we got the little guy that's going to be in this section right here. Very nice. How about a close-up? Y'all want a close-up? Oh, here's some more Italian drip. Putting some texture on there.
Uh, I'll ask Mitch, but I can tell you, uh, I've been filming things for a long time. And yes, when you're filming epoxy, like reflections are a big deal. They're, they're, uh, reflections make it hard to film. So yeah, we're using the mat to uh, reduce the reflections there. Hey Mitch, we got a question about the uh, mat UTC and whether that's that's better for a studio setting so to remove uh, reduce reflections. Exactly why Ron is using mat in this instance versus gloss. Personally, I like mat a little bit more. Personally, but that's just personal personal preference because they're both just as durable. But when you're in a filming location, right, and you have a guy filming and you want to stay away from dark colors, you see the reflection much more if these were black or dark brown, you're going to see more of a mirror reflection. You feel the matte uh, top coat on there, that brings the shine down. Even with black, it's going to help a lot. But when you have a white light piece like that, you feel the matte top coat on there. That's exactly why she did that. Now you're not going to see Kitty in the reflection or the light coming down to light the piece. Let's see those as bad. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I personally, I also like the matte finish. Uh, it looks more like natural stone to me. All right, 90 minutes so far. We've been live for an hour and a half, doing some tilting, fixing a bit of the plastic here that was pulled up. We made sure to tape the plastic down around, that flows around the edges to keep, uh, keep the epoxy off of the floor. And here, just doing some tilting effects. Oh, it looks like it's tape pulling time. All right. That's right. And we're going to be, uh, don't worry, we're going to be showing mounting these live. You're definitely going to be uh, broadcasting that. That will be tomorrow at 7 p.m. If you can't make the live, be sure to check the VOD, of course. The, uh, the saved video. Because these are, it's, I can't wait to see what it's like mounting these things up here. You can see the, uh, the foam barrier we have there is uh, applied directly onto the blue tape because the, uh, uh, so that it doesn't stick too much to the surface. Let's see there, it's just pulling. Oh, here we go. And here now that we've pulled that, sorry about the jitter there. Now it's going to flow over. I probably have epoxy on my knee now that I've taken a knee. Yep. So where this was all pooling up before, and it made this kind of shape. Now it's going to be able to flow over the edge and it's gonna be a nice, neat effect. You can see here, there's even dots of, dots of color throughout here and uh, bits of glitter that are gonna stand out nicely. All right, just like that. There's the tape then. And also, yeah, when you put it over the tape, it makes it just easier to pull up. Got Shandell here, tailoring the edge. 
making sure that epoxy floats over. Let's get another look around here. Here's that third panel, the second one. Panel number four. Look at that. Look at that. Just teal dragon flying through there. Fantastic. I should get a light. I should get, should get a light and show that glitter because there is glitter in this. Let's see. There's more over here. I usually like to do this. You get a, a flashlight on your phone or something, and you can really see. You can really see that glitter now. Be sure not to drop my phone in the epoxy. Look at that! So beautiful, and it's still gonna move. Beautiful. Ugh. So we have these, we have oh yes, I the, the pearl and the teal, such a nice combination with these nice dark, uh, I forget what color it is, oh sorry, I forget what this color is, which one is this, like a coffee or something? Which one? This right here is Almond by Just Resin. That's right, Almond. Yeah, and you can find the colors that were used for this. Uh, uh, Alumilite dye and uh, just resin, just resin all those tints. Are available, uh, the Alumilite products are available on my uh, website. I also have the just resin products available, uh, and then also go to Erica's Artist Till Death .com. Use promo code RK3, and you can get her a discount on um, her products as well. All right, did y'all hear that? RK3, code RK3 to get a discount on Artist Till Death's store to get these same colors. The Just Resin and the White Alumilite dye. Lots of White Alumilite dye was used for this. Uh, probably went through six little bottles of that stuff. And you only need a little bit, usually, to uh, make your epoxy just, uh, you know, purely opaque white. <laughs> so, sorry, that was almost a mistake. And that's right, all we can do is lay these out here and try to control the airflow and then take care of any, uh, if uh, say a fly lands in it, take care of that as it happens. In the end, it's going to look great. And, uh, I don't see anything happening that we wouldn't be able to fix. And we're going to be covering this with the ultimate top coat in matte to uh, reduce reflections since this is going to be the backdrop for the studio right behind me. We've got, we've got Kenny, Rhonda's husband over here, torching, Rhonda herself. We got Shandell from uh, Shandell Paints on Instagram. And we've got Mitch with Stonecoat Countertops, as well as his crew here helping. And Jeff and uh, Erica's here somewhere from Artist Till Death. There she is. And they brought their mascot, Bowie. The little Pomeranian over there. I think he heard his name when I said it. He's such a good boy. Yeah, just heating up the edges and uh, letting them flow over. These edges are not rounded, so we're going to have to make sure that uh, the epoxy flows over them. We just help it along a little bit since it doesn't have a nice, a nice curved bevel to go around.
live in my ass. Your whole booty is all in the library. <laughs> what? He's actually right. We've got two lives going on here at the same time. That's one from Stone Coat and one from Dead RK3. Kidding. This is the exposed. That side where Chris is. All right, so this is actually amazing because this 250 plus square foot project required 20 gallons of epoxy to coat. And numerous bottles of uh, additives and, and jars of, uh, of tints that we have here from just resin. You can see some of them are used and empty after this. Here's all the buckets that were used. We had a good old time in arts and crafts. <laughs> it is really amazing to see. I've never seen, I've never actually seen a project this big. I've heard of like really big ones. and I've seen videos of like big floors, but uh, this is, really something you see like we just have these little walkways here in this big shop and everyone's trying not to step on each other's toes we've been live for a hundred hours now uh, minutes yeah before it gets too crazy right? then we can just walk away my favorite part is that Here we go. Number four panel, the edges are all tailored nicely. Now moving on to panel number one. Oh, it's still rolling. Which one? We did this one first? Or? Yeah, we did this one first. Second. And you see with the tape that the uh, the barrier comes up real easily. This little one's a perfect timing. Some nice shapes in this one. Nice wispy veins. You see. Uh, yeah, you see a little Italian drip marks there. Those are going to flow out and even out. After these uh, tape dams are up and we've uh, worked on the edges, then all that's left is to uh, let the epoxy flow and move how it's gonna. And folks, when we're done pouring, when we're done working for this, we're gonna kill the AC off. You don't want any moving air over your curing epoxy for the best cure. Kill your AC, kill any fans, uh, and then we're gonna come back tomorrow and find the top coat. Right on, so again, yeah, make sure that there aren't any fans or AC blowing. Just uh, restrict movement for to avoid dust. Probably hard to hear with all the sticky feet. We've been having a fabulous time here. Look at here. Like we got little dots. Plenty of glitter. Thank you everyone so much for joining us. Thank you for the compliments. Glad to inspire some, some confidence here, showing just how big this can go. Big like Texas.
We got everyone talking, laughing, working together. Wonderful time. Stunning piece. Loving these subtle colors. This is so RK3 Designs brand right here. Rhonda says her heart is full. <laughs> And of course, tomorrow night, when we go live, don't want to miss that. We're going to be taking these panels and putting them on the backdrop. And you get to watch that live. And then also, uh, we're going to see these in future videos in the background. Uh, Brenda, uh, good question. Let's see, best to pour the epoxy after the paint is poured. I'm just reading the comment here. After the paint is poured and flowed out for a minute. So, by paint, you mean the uh, the undercoat or the color coat? I suppose you mean the, this color coat that we're putting down. Um, we are, uh, this is all epoxy that we've, uh, applied on here. It's, uh, the color coat. It has colors in it. And then once this sets up, we're going to go right to the ultimate top coat, which is a transparent top coat that's going to be put over the top for ultimate durability, um, and a nice matte finish to make it look more like natural stone and reduce reflections. We did an exotic pour for this one. You can check the rest of the video, rest of this live to see those pours. We uh, mixed up 20 gallons of epoxy to cover these four panels that equal more than 250 square feet. As you can see, the uh, panels are set on top of other panels underneath them with a bit of a lip so that the epoxy can flow over and drip down to the floor. So once you remove the tape dam, that drips down. And uh, we've made sure to uh, make the panels just a little bit shy, a little bit, uh, a little bit smaller than the panels that are sitting on top of them. And uh, when these had mesh and uh, quick coat epoxy on them, uh, and that was all dry, we were able to walk around and Rhonda even did a little dance on the panels before they had epoxy on them, before this color coat that is. And uh, no dents, no indentations at all. You can't even tell. It, uh, it even took uh, uh, Big Mitch's weight when he was walking on it. So this is a great substrate to put the epoxy on. It's lightweight. It's uh, actually a, uh, uh, a foam that uh, can handle contact with water. It won't expand. So it's uh, most often used for shower panels with epoxy. That's right, Tanya. We use a uh, quick coat to uh, cover these panels. You'll see at the beginning of the live, they're all just white panels with mesh and uh, quick coat on them. Uh, that's all been hardened. And uh, that was just so that uh, we could get that done and uh, be ready to paint uh, in a short amount of time. So we wouldn't have to wait overnight for a countertop epoxy coat to, to uh, set up. Uh, 
since uh, since we're using art coat, these panels would actually do better outside um, than they would otherwise if we use just the normal stone coat countertop epoxy. Um, and especially since there's a lot of white colors in these, uh, any uh, effects from the sun would show up uh, better than for a dark color. So uh, these will be placed inside, um, but if they were to be placed outside, uh, they would last longer um, than just a normal epoxy. And see here coming up these stairs. That's the only way I can get the whole project in frame here. I'm gonna put those uh, panels right on the back, right on the backdrop there. All right, well that about does it for this project. Uh, besides the ultimate top coat and the mounting tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central Time. Catch us live on this channel. We're going to be mounting these. <laughs> have we ever done a shower floor? Uh, all of these showers that I have seen myself uh, have uh, usually a vinyl or, uh, you know, a, a hard plastic bottom or uh, rocks. I've seen uh, with uh, pebbles mixed with epoxy as a textured bottom for a shower. Um, those videos, uh, that I'm referencing a video that's on uh, the Stone Coat Countertops channel on YouTube. Um, those are the, all the, channel, the, shower, uh, the showers that I have seen. Um, I'm not sure the foam would be great on the floor, even though it can take our weight pretty well. But since there's just so much water contact, I'm, I'm not sure that would be uh, great. But uh, I would say on that, definitely do your research before you uh, uh, try any project like that. And then, uh, yeah, there are those pre-made um, shower floors that can be used. But for shower panels, this is great lightweight material that takes the epoxy very well and resists water doesn't get damaged from water. You can see here, Chandel is uh, removing her, her foot wraps <laughs> with a press and seal. She's got her painting boots, but didn't want to get epoxy all over them. And uh, didn't want to make any indentations from the boots heels on uh, on the foam. This is great. Uh, these are great questions here about the, the shower floor. Um, okay, and we're back. I just lost a, a, bit, a bit of the feed here. Anybody let me know if uh, the live is still going, if the audio is still good. The shed, uh, let's see, Amy, would this be something I could use to put in uh, my shed for walls? It really depends on what you'd be doing in your shed. Um, like uh, if we were to take like sharp, heavy tools to this wall, um, we, could, we could probably break it. Um, so uh, for a shed, I mean, uh, you could use uh, MDF, but this foam is just so easy to work with and so lightweight. Um, so there, there's definitely those considerations to be had, but yeah, we're gonna be using this for a backdrop in an epoxy uh, video studio. Um, Um, you don't want super, super high heat or direct sunlight. High heat's not an issue as far as no AC, but you don't want to have it in the direct sunlight. Right on. 
Yes, and those are all things to consider that this is the best that epoxy really can offer. Here we go, there we go. All right, sorry about that. And we're back, we back. Sorry about that, the phone is getting calls and that interrupts the live stream. Uh, we're going to be uh, ending here. Now all that's left is uh, letting this flow and letting it set up and then we can uh, have the ultimate top coat. And don't forget to join us tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central Time. We're going to mount these and sadly cover up Jeff's wonderful artwork there. Uh, but its spirit will remain. Thank you everybody for your, your comments, for your compliments. Thank you for sharing, for liking. Thank you for supporting Rhonda. And uh, we're going to uh, sign off for now until tomorrow. <laughs> Don't be scared. Move. I forgot it. Don't be scared. Move forward and be creative. I'm sorry, guys. You it's didn't been a long day already. Yeah. Rhonda, don't be scared. Move forward and be creative. That's it. <laughs> he didn't see, but Rhonda was doing the sign language there as well. Sign language. All right. See you, everybody. I'm just going to get a final shot here. See all these panels. And then... Uh, and then it's TTFN. Ta ta for now. Thank you, everybody. Remember, yes, don't be scared. Move forward and be creative. Take care, everybody.